Hello YouTube for my fourth tutorial. Uh this one is a stupid little tutorial. As um I just found it quite funny. Um in this tutorial I will show you how to make exploding props. That's right. How ever so exciting. Right, so at the minute I'm just gonna get a prop static just to place the props on. That'll do. Okay, so you want to know how to make an exploding soda can, don't you? I thought so. It's exciting, isn't it? Right, exploding soda can. The first thing you're going to need is an ENV underscore explosion. I'll just go ahead and place one of these on your map. The second thing you're going to need is a prop prop underscore physics. Let's go place that in your map as well. Okay, now for the prop physics, you can have any physics model you want. Uh, for example, let's try and find one, which is fairly suitable. Uh, the helicopter bomb, for instance, which aren't actually physics. That's annoying. Let's just stick with the pop can. Okay. So, you have your pop can and your EMV underscore explosion. Okay. Now, the first thing you want to do is go to the properties of your prop can and just change the name to can underscore zero one. Now, um, that's just a name so other entities can reference it by that. Then, for your EMV underscore explosion, just set the name to explode underscore zero one. Once again, just reference it. Okay, then in your EMV underscore explosion, you're going to see a parent property name. Okay, now for the parent one, I want you to go ahead and set that to can underscore zero one, which is our soda can. And um, what parent basically does is make it so wherever this moves, that will follow. It's pretty much like a parent, really. Self explanatory again. And you want to make sure none of those are ticked, really. Uh, you can set your damage, your magnitude to a thousand if you want, send anything. Okay, then you just apply all that. Then you go over to your soda can again and you go to outputs and you add a new one and you say on play use target the explosion or the NV underscore explosion uh, via this input explode. And uh, what that does is when the player presses E or their use key on the soda can it's going to target the explosion entity and tell it to explode. Now if you want you can set it to delay after four or five seconds it doesn't matter um, but that's it really, that's all you've done. Um, you can set the soda can to any physics prop it'll work with anything so um, I'm just going to run this map Yeah, close that and uh, I'll just go test it in game. Okay, so here we are in game. I removed the table after I compiled, I decided. No point. And um, if you press E, you'll die. And uh, it only does it once. You can set the uh, explosion to be repeatable, but I have not. And um, yeah, that's an exploding soda can, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing interesting about that at all. Um, I guess I'll see you in tutorial number five then, when I make it. And uh, goodbye.